Hi, let's talk about writing equilibrium expressions. This is exciting. Um, so this specific one, we are looking when they give you concentrations, when they give you molarity of substances. And molarities, remember that can be for gases or for our uh, solutions, okay? So you can have the molarity, the moles per unit volume of, um, of a gas. So when they're given concentrations, this is how we're going to write our equilibrium expression. Um, so here is my generic equation. Uh, they're going to give us concentrations, and here we have it. K, this is our equilibrium constant. Let's write that down. So this is the equilibrium, equilibrium constant. It always equals the concentration of products multiplied raised to the coefficients of each product divided by the concentrations of reactants multiplied, each raised to the um, coefficient of that particular reactant. Um, this is highly significant, especially when we compare it to rate. So I've made some notes over here to help you keep straight between capital K, which is the equilibrium constant, and lowercase k, which is the rate constant. And honestly, sometimes you just have to read a problem contextually to know, are they talking about rate or are they talking about equilibrium, okay? Um, so a couple of things um, as we move forward before we do our examples. When we're writing our equilibrium expression, we only write down the products and reactants that are gas and aqueous phases. You never include anything that is a solid or a liquid. And the reason why is those are both considered constant, that they don't change the overall uh, equilibrium expression. Solids, their density is constant, um, so they're not included. And liquids, typically the solvent is so, so, so much larger um, in comparison to the solute, that as you change the concentration of solute, the change, slight change in, in the liquid is negligible as if it is constant. So you only ever write down the products of reactants that are gas and aqueous, mean, which means if you have a solid or liquid, it's not written. You don't see it at all in the equilibrium expression. Next, the coefficients are the exponents. So you have maybe just finished your rate unit and your teacher drilled, hey, you can't use the coefficients as exponents. We had to find M and N, the orders. Now, <laughs> we step into equilibrium, we're like, woohoo, this is so much easier. You just look at the coefficient and that becomes the exponent. So you have this section in your brain, I say a file in your brain that's for rate. In that, you cannot use coefficients as exponents for the, those reactants. We just opened a new file folder in your brain. This is equilibrium. In equilibrium, those coefficients, those numbers, so easy they become the exponents, really, really slick. The other difference that um, I want you to remember is that when we're doing K, the equilibrium expression, it's always products of reactants. And you're gonna hear that a ton. Products of reactants, products of reactants. When you do the rate law, it was rate equals K times the concentration of reactants. The rate depends only on reactants. Okay, this is different. Equilibrium, this is the um, equal rate of the forward and the reverse reactions. So it's the ratio, K is simply the ratio of the amount of products over reactants. So it's product over reactant. It depends on both. The amounts, when we reach this beautiful equal rate, what are the amounts of products compared to reactants? So it's a ratio. Along that line, K is unit less. So capital K, the equilibrium expression, has no unit. It will just be a number, it's just a value. Again, to contrast that, we're lower, with lowercase k, the rate constant, really honestly, the number one purpose of the rate constant is to adjust units. It's what it carries. The mantle that it carries is adjusting units. And then here, capital K, the equilibrium constant, unit less, no units, it's only a value. It simply shows us the ratio of products to reactants. So I wanna do a couple of examples. We're going to say that we've been given concentrations. So we're going to write, I can be even more specific, the capital K, the equilibrium expression, and I could put um, a lowercase c, that this is the concentration, uh, is giving me concentrations for these reactants and products. Okay, so I first look at my products. SO2, and it's a gas. Great, I can include that. So that will be SO2. 
the coefficient is a one, so you can write a one, or you could leave that off and it's understood to be one. Inherently, you know that that's a one. So products divided by, look at my reactants. Oh, the sulfur, that's a solid, so I can't include that. I don't use that at all. Um, so that will be divided by O2, which is also to the first power. And there we have it. That would be our equilibrium expression. The um, K sub C, the equilibrium constant of the concentrations of these products and reactants. Okay, let's look at this next example. So we're going to do the equilibrium expression and they've given us concentrations. And you know, um, don't get too hung up on that sub C. I'm just being really particular for you. You could just write K for any equilibrium expression and be totally fine. Um, okay, products of our reactants. So my first product is aqueous. So it's copper two plus ion. So I put that in brackets. It was raised to the first power because of that one coefficient times. Now this is a big mistake. Remember, this is multiplied. It's not added. Um, every year I'll have a couple students that will put a little plus sign right there. No, it's multiplied. Okay, you multiply these concentrations. Um, this is going to be ammonia because it's aqueous. And notice it's exponent, excuse me, it's coefficient is four. So the exponent is four. Nice, that's slick, easy. Divided by the reactants, and it's going to be this um, coordination compound. Cu and H3, four plus. And that's understood to be a one, so it's going to be to the power of one. So there are a couple of examples for you. Um, writing the equilibrium constant, never write a solid or a liquid, and you simply take the number in front of that compound and that becomes the exponent. Remember, when you have multiple reactants or products, you multiply those concentrations. Okay, good work, thanks. Uh, lots more videos on equilibrium. Take a look at those under the equilibrium playlist. playlist. Thanks.